What's up, my boing? From that city with juice, ain't no pity or truces. When we dip in gun smoke's conclusive. Don't act clueless, hella foolish in the 90s. And GP shotgun, when we ride. Solid on the yard, name hard on these streets. Did my crimes, catch your rhymes on dope beats. Still fuck laws, ain't no pause in our demeanor. Rest in peace, Muggsy and my road dog creeper. Ways to put it down, no fear of new cases. Years ago, though, it was guns and chases. 714 on my shoulders, kept it active. Roll like soldiers, G code ain't passive. Still Mac and Ratchet, still packed at the waist. Still stacking racks, still flash with the hate. Now it's podcasts and videos with pretty hoes. Me and George banging orange till the city's known really though. OG Wayne. We keep it moving smooth like every day. In this industry, What's up, my boy? George Perez right here of George Perez Stories, episode 351. George Perez Stories is brought to you by JB and Sons Tree Service Landscape and Installation. Look, guys, if your yard looks like three plates of teeth, <laughs> if you guys got like roots growing out of your lawn, like three plates has hairs growing out of his tattoos, Hit up my boys at JB and Sons Tree Service Landscape and Installation. They specialize in tree removal, stump removal, irrigation, landscaping. Like a lot of people are like, do they blow leaves? Come on, player. If they, if they got this kind of equipment, you already know they got everything, dog. Hit them up on Instagram at J M B A R R I O S or JB and Sons Landscaping and get a trim. They got the wood chipper and everything. Yeah, no. chill out, dog. Can I do commercials on me? <laughs> Damn, just because you look like a beaver, you want to chip some wood. Chill, three plates. <laughs> Don't forget, guys, upcoming dates. Bakersfield, March 16th. There's only 40 tickets left. Uh, there was 33, but some Chola brought it with uh, his mom's credit card, and she denied the charges. Eh? So those seven tickets came back. There's only 40 left with two weeks to go. Jump on those. Let's sell it out. Maybe add a show. March 22nd, March 23rd, I'm going to be at the Covina Lab Factory. Hey, you guys, uh, there's still some tickets available for that. It's going to be Friday, 7.30, Friday, 9.30, Saturday, 7.30, Saturday, 9.30. Grab yourself a ticket, bring a friend. And uh, ladies, if you're single, bring your tia because I'm 46 now. <laughs> Check it out. Also, April 1st. For April Folios at the Comedy Store, it's going to be my birthday. So April 1st, I'm going to be at the Comedy Store main room, April Folio show. And that is that, like a hood rat, X to the G, what it be. What's up, dog? I'm excited for that Bakerfield show. Yeah. Yeah. It's going to be me, you, three plates, and Edwin. 
First time, first time Tommy on the road. So we're going to see how. Are we sleeping over? Nah. Or, yeah, I don't want to sleep with Tommy. Imagínate. Nah, the pedals that going to kill me. You'd get the floor anyways, dog, because George gets the bed. Then there's the couch. <laughs> for his, the that's for me, hey, dog. Hey, hey. And then you get the floor because you're yeah. the new homie, you're dog. Right, Edwin. <laughs> hey, Tommy doesn't want to talk because we got to give him his intro, dog. Oh, yeah. I'm <laughs> his intro. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sleeping in the car. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> that's righty, guys. All the way from Ridgecrest, his pedals <laughs> are so strong. It started a riot once at an oxygen yard. Three plates, Tommy in the building. In the motherfucking house, you already know what it is. We're right here. Party time. We got Triple OG in the house. That's what's up. Give it up for Triple OG in the yeah. building. Let's go. That's what's up, man. Hey, welcome to the podcast, brother. Oh, man, man. Much love always, man, for having me here, you know? Thank you, brother. Uh, I've, I've noticed you've been doing other podcasts lately, right? Like you did Hoodstocks? Hoodstocks. Hey, Lucky. Shout out to Lucky. Yeah, Feed he's, man's he's cool. homie, he's man. Real, he's dope And he's guy. solid and righteous. Yeah, he's solid. You cool, know? Cool ass guy, man. Like, like, got his number. Chop it up. He's yeah. Solid. And Lucky's the kind of fool. He walks around with his paperwork. Yeah. Like, What's up? <laughs> <laughs> right? <Yeah. laughs> like, when that fool has his, he has his passport ID and his paperwork, dog. <laughs> Nothing but love to my boy out there, Lux Dog. So, uh, um, did no lames too? Oh, Rocky, yeah, no lames G with the homeboy Money, Rocky, G Money, and High Tone, right? Yeah, now High Tone's kind of in the same thing as you, right? Uh, fitness, yeah, yeah. He, I got him on the fitness plan, he jumped on my program, and I dropped him 50 pounds in four Damn. months. Who, homie High Tone, High Tone, homie High Tone. yeah, the guy, that guy's disciplined. He wanted it, he fucking he, he proved the point, he got it, you know, his lady too, his lady Steph. She dropped about 40 pounds, too. Oh, wow. She was hey. at 160. Now she's at 126. They just told me today. It took all time he's getting excited. <laughs> yeah, no, because well, he, he was saying earlier, you dropped 150 pounds? I dropped 120. Yeah. Yeah, Damn. I was at 320. Like, let me get there, yeah. Tommy. Like, let me... No, well, I'm just saying about the I'm saying little journeys. Yeah, yeah. yeah. With the A. Huh. <laughs> Watch Three out, plate. dog! Oh, love like in four months. <laughs> Watch. In, hey, in four hmm. months, what do you think you'll be at, dog? Hitting diamonds. That's yeah. it. The backward, the one, <laughs> the backward, the, the, hey, the, the, the backward, the pull-ups for the pulls. <laughs> oh shit! Uh. Hey, right now, <laughs> hey, right now, in his head, he's going. You know how many fools like this hit me up? <laughs> Dude, Vato sent a video first. to you like, Tommy, oh, they're, like, they're like, hey, this is my workout I do. What do you think? I'm like, hey, it starts with your nutrition, man. Like, you're not going to outwork a bad diet. I'll tell you that right now, you know? Okay. You're eating nothing but fat and carbs with a protein ad. So they're doing it all backwards, you know? So, like, like say, but, okay, like, say you fucking worked out two hours a day mm -hmm. and you did a little bit of cardio and you hit the steam room and the sauna and you ate like shit. Are you still not going to get major progress? No, you're, gonna still, you're just you're just maintaining that day. Like you're just whatever you ate that day. You're, you're just gonna, paying the credit card yeah, off that's that day. It. Yeah, you're gonna stay your same weight, stay however you look. So Fuck, you just because I do that. Yeah, no, man. <laughs> you can't. Man, I haven't seen diet. results, dog. No, you can't. That's because of the nutrition, you know. Yeah, because yeah. like for the first month, I was like, "Fuck this shit, no soda, only fucking fruit, eggs, and cotton, and that dog and chicken." <laughs> And I seen results, and I was like, you know what, homie? I'm going to up it up and party a little. <laughs> and I can do a little bit. I was like, what the rap in my chest? <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, so it, it's a lot to do with your diet. Yeah, that's the main thing. It's 80 20, 80% 80 nutrition, 20% working out. Okay. And, and you noticed that win because, like, how Tommy interrupted earlier. I remember seeing that photo of you. You're not fat, homie. You're healthy, big. You know, like, a, like a linebacker. Yeah, hey, hey, homie. Not like you, Tommy. He, he was healthy. Yeah, I was thick. I was, like I said, I was benching five plates, milk pressing three wheels, you know. And I, was, I, was, I was like a big boy, you know what I'm saying? But I just, my back was hurting, fucking legs were hurting. My son was, I had my son, he's young. I don't want to look all shot out, you know what I'm saying? He's 21, I'm fucking 52, whatever the fuck I am. But I don't want to look like I'm titties hanging and shit, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I had to get with the program. Okay. I had to get dialed in, just to get disciplined and drop down to my prison weight. I went to prison Wayne, 165. Uh -huh. And that's what I got back down to, 165. Oh, wow. You know, so. But, and the food in prison was horrible, right? Yeah, but in prison, I, bulk, I bulked up 100 pounds. I came out weighing 250 when I went. I, yeah. yeah. I got busted. Weighing 165, I came out 250. There's a lot of big boys in there, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Hell so fuck yeah, hell yeah. that shit. Started grubbing, fucking getting my workout on, and I just blew up. 
What what was one of like uh cause hey dog it's a journey and an experience and it's a story and uh what what was like the first time you faced like a breaking point? Cause I remember in this last working out thing, I was good. Remember, hey, for remember for that for, for the first month out, you could see progress. You were going with Eddie, I'd come in here and you'd be like Yeah, and I was like, check it out, dog. <laughs> and then like Hey homie Come hang out. There's some highness here, dog. And I'm just like, all right, I'll kick a full, but I'm not going to drink too much because I got to work out tomorrow. And, like, I'm not going to do no coke. <laughs> Fucking this girl whips her tit off. What's up, Do a line off my tit. Uh, it's creatine. <laughs> 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 so I fucked up. And now I lost that day and the next two days to recuperate. Oh, yeah. Like, did you ever have any struggles like that? Because I, I, I'm not saying you're a druggie, but, like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, my main thing was like drinking before, popping bottles, just oh, drinking a whole shit. bottle to my head of 1942, you know, and just Damn. the drugs that I never been involved in the drugs. I've been always around it. I don't judge nobody uh-huh. to each his own, but yeah. I was just a drinker, party with strippers. You know what I'm saying? That was yeah. my drug, you know, the girls and oh, that, that was my drug. That's, yeah. You know, so. Like now, when said, you say party with strippers, like. You did have the big bouncer look back then, and strippers are attracted to that like a mug. Yeah, yeah. They, they're they like, damn, you're a big boy, but I have my wife with me, too. Oh, damn. So me and my wife will pull up to a strip club, and fucking next thing you know, fucking 10, 15 girls will come up to us. And then all those stripper girls, we made them as our friends. Okay. So then I would go to a club, and I will take the 20, 30 strippers with me, and it will just be me, me. You know what I'm saying? And 30 girls, like, fucking crazy, you know? Damn. Beat that one, Tommy. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'll go, I'll, 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 like, my birthday, I'll go to, like, Puerto Vallarta, rent a big-ass fucking three-story villa, and it'll be me, maybe one of my homies, and maybe 35 girls. Damn. Just us right there, fucking just crazy, you know what I'm saying? Just living it up, living the Hugh Hefner life, you know what I'm saying? Hell yeah, that's huge, Hefner. So, that, so, so right. that's what I tell people, like, sometimes it's better to involve in your wife or your girlfriend. Take them with you, because you get you get further mm-hmm. ahead in life, you know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? You go, you go by yourself to a strip club. The girls are like, okay, but you take your wife or your lady with you, man. They're way more cooler. It's just a whole other atmosphere. You know, I would take my wife with me, but they're gonna make her work there again. <laughs> <laughs> they're gonna be like, hey, bitch, you owe money on your lockers all fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> your customer's looking for you, man. Where you been? <laughs> That's crazy. What's up, Tommy? You ever took your wife to a strip club? Nah, nah. I always tripped out on fools that would they would do that, like the food. But I, oh, I rolled up, but I get I don't know if just fools that like doing that shit. I just always thought like take the fucking roll. <laughs> Tommy's like I have fucking... money enough money for both of them. <laughs> to the like, party. I'll, I'll go to the strip club with my wife. My wife would tell the bitch, "Hey, fucking take your t- tits off and put them in my husband's fucking mouth." You know what I'm saying? Like. That's that's some gangster shit, you know what I'm saying? That's like that's when you know when you're a player, a boy to a man. When you're a fucking man, you could do that with your wife. Come here, boom, and your wife yeah. handles man, the man. He just called you a boy, Tommy. <laughs> <laughs> no, but uh, what I'm saying though, nah, it, fuck, it's, I gotta it's, take my girl to the fucking bar to no, the strip club. No, no, no. They got levels of life yeah, together. To, <laughs> you, like to teach his own though, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, yeah, like, to, every, exactly. Everybody has their own way of doing it, but I always did it with my wife. Like, come on, you know, like, like we're vacation you have 30 fucking girls naked right there doing their fucking only fans and shit like you know what i'm saying it's just it's what it is dog some of us had that mind control and whatever Mm -hmm. you know like i i do that all the time too but i work with these highness dog like (laughs) they they hit me up they'd be like what's up fool check it out we're gonna throw a party and shit but we want you to come tell jokes and bring coke and like you know what they care you're like you're like fucking like a homie yeah and I'm like yeah, once you become go. once you become their homie it's a whole other yeah. level they like start giving invited. you money they took from Xavier and X <laughs> <laughs> they tell you then they tell you the whole rundown of everybody that fool with this that fool with yeah. that like, alright cool it ain't funny, hey, you know? a, a stripper could probably be a great informant dog no for sure because a lot yeah, of men confess go, huh? to pussy dog they're out there like I'm like fucking homies man. I have five pounds I'm like drunk yeah, she's like what? A lot of guys sell out <laughs> yeah, too over for, pussy too. Yeah, a lot, of, a lot of guys sell out over pussy, man. You see a, a guy's true character over a fucking girl. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, straight up. Yeah, I don't know. Straight I, up. I, I lost a lot of respect for a lot of fools. I lost a saying? lot of homies like your ain't. Yeah. Like what? Hey, yeah. no, for for real. Like the fall the fall of a gang of fools is they're high now. Mm-hmm. If you look in the fucking books and what happened? Oh, because well, fucking broad. Wars were he that too. blasted some fool over some broad, or this happened over some fucking broad. You're like for real. It's always over a girl. Always over and the some hood, fucking broad. money, friendship, over a fucking girl, you know? But 
I don't know. Yeah, not for me. Yeah, not me either. Yeah, Fuck my, that my shit. dad was married five times, dog. That fool, that fool cheated on my mom in front of me, dog. <laughs> Yo, what <laughs> took me? He's like, the fuck in the car. You go get McDonald's. You tell her shit. You never get this again. Like, yeah. Fuck my mom. <laughs> <laughs> Coming home, coming home with a large ass strawberry shake. <laughs> hey, bro. Uh, hey, this is 1990. That shit was expensive. Oh, 1990, yeah. McDonald's? You had the yeah, big one? Fuck, yeah. And my brother's out there eating fideo and shit, dog. I'm fucking <laughs> coming home with the, the OG bag, and then the Big Mac had like a foam, dog. Styrofoam right there is with the big ass strawberries. <laughs> Yeah, my brain up? hurting. <laughs> <laughs> oh, brain freeze? <laughs> yeah, just floss it, dog. Hey, fool, that's when... Feed the hell. <laughs> <laughs> hey, homie, my brothers made me a man that day, dog. Yeah? I, I realized, like, I didn't think, like, <laughs> hey, fool. I, <laughs> I went back to the room, like, yeah, because, like, we shared. There, It was a four-bedroom pad, but it was five, six boys. And my mom and my dad. So the older two fools, like, we had to share rooms, dog. And I went back to that room with my strawberry shake. And these motherfuckers beat my ass and drank that shit in front of me, dog. <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah, yeah, like. Fucking tight. Held you down. They're all yeah. they're drinking. Uh, take the fucking one McNugget I had in my pocket. <laughs> <laughs> Split it in four, huh? Uh, you, you have any brothers growing up? I have younger brothers, you okay. know, but I was the oldest, you know. Oh, you're the oldest? Yeah. So. And you're from La Puente. La Puente, yeah. Born and raised. Born and raised, SGB, yep. What uh, what junior high did you go to? I went to um some uh, little junior high called Rincon. Okay. Oh, there's like more like on the east side of La Puente, you know what I'm saying? Okay. Like more of the enemy territory. Oh, shit. Yeah, yeah. So they knew you from junior high. They're mm-hmm. like, hey, dog. Using my grandma's address, you know what I'm saying? My mom thought the school was a little better, but it wasn't, you know? Nah. Yeah, <laughs> well, it was all know, bad. It was all bad, you know? What about you, Tommy? What? What junior high did you go to? <laughs> and, and we went. My junior high school was on a Navy base. Oh, shit. So, uh, we, like, if we got in trouble and shit, your parents would go get you and shit, they would have to get go through, like... They had to take a summer. Like, before <laughs> they got <laughs> <through> the <laughs> car searched and all that shit. Then you, you're you able to go in. Do your parents had to get searched and shit? Yeah, on the way in. And my dad, fool, he would pick me... In seventh grade, fool, and almost every day he would pick me up early. Yeah. They would kick me out. Yeah? And he's like, well, hey, why do you guys keep sending this for home? They're, all just they're like, he keeps eating all the fucking food. <laughs> <blue. laughs> hey, uh, hey, three crayons today. My teacher would always be, he was like a little bitch ass fool. So he, his name was Mr. Whack, fool. Mr. Whack. That fool. Whack. <laughs> so I got 100 whack, whack. Yeah. <laughs> You're trying to move 100 whack, whack. <laughs> but that fool, he would kick me out of school every day. I what, was just what like, kind of a bad that, kid. Dog? What does he say after that? Huh? What I'm a it? kind of a bad kid. Motherfucker used to get kicked out every day. For I was a horrible kid, dog. <sighs> I used to do bad shit. Nah, fool, I, got, I, got, I got like arrested at school, dog. Oh shit! I met him for in sixth grade. You like, look all tough, huh? I, nah, I fought this for pussy. <laughs> As I said, you looked all tough when you yeah. got arrested. Because my neighbor dog was this fine ass white girl dog. You already know how I am for the white girls dog. <laughs> all of us, <laughs> kryptonite. Straight up, I was jacking off to fucking. Uh, who was white back then? Who was white back then? <laughs> <laughs> I was jacking off. Fucking, I dream a genie dog. <laughs> <laughs> Michelle Pfeiffer, hell Scarface. yeah! No, mine was Britney Spears. Britney nah, Britney Spears. Nah, Britney Spears dog. She was not on her own. Hmm? Remember that? So <laughs> we had fucking uh, Kelly Bundy dog from Married with Children. Yeah, hey, uh, or the one had a big ass booty. The one from Baywatch. What was that one? Oh yeah, uh, Pamela, Pamela Anderson. Anderson. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey, nobody so ever check thought this Peggy out. Bundy was fine, but she was fine. Oh, huh? Peggy Bundy, uh, she, that bitch's pussy is so head. warm. She's on the motorcycle show, Sons of Anarchy. Always on a motorcycle. <laughs> that bitch's pussy is warm. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> She's older. She wears like a like like you know how bikers wear the leather jacket. She wears a little leather g string down there. Yeah, dog. <laughs> holds it up. Yeah, because yeah. that that mofle is like steamer, bro. Hey, fool, I heard biker hyenas are like eat biker fools and their hyenas and shit when they do those. Right now, they get fucking kind of weird. <laughs> like, those fools are down to, like, their wife or their eye or whatever. They'll be like, give it a whirl. Like, my homie did tattoo runs. All right, yeah, yeah the whatever. Fuck? No, <laughs> so, they, they do weird you shit like that. Oh, club, but you'll do that shit. No, I won't do that shit. <laughs> my homie did tattoo yeah, runs. Yeah. And right, he right, told right. me those run, stories yeah. about weird shit that happens. Well, I, I kind of yeah, wanted to tell you about what I did in junior high. So, hey, player... 
like I was in sixth grade and the high note was in eighth grade, and like I don't know for like she used to touch me, you know, <laughs> but like I was later, so <laughs> but she would just be like, hey, for a let me show what happens when you pull that back, and I was like. I already know, eh? He's like, watch what happens when another hand does it. And I was just like. <laughs> and that was it. Nah, yeah. And then we, we were at Pertola. And uh, she was just like, yeah, man, I hate this fucking school. If I could, I'd burn it. And I was like, I'll burn this shit for you. Oh, damn. So, I Got fucked you all it. Sound like a white boy. Yeah. yeah. That's a white boy oh, shit right shit. there. Hell yeah. That's why I fucked it. You on love already? Uh, <laughs> I got everyone, girl. I got you. I'll fucking stab my mom right now. <laughs> <laughs> so, hey, homie, I fucking, like, I lit a PG folder. And I threw that shit. And fucking, like, the fire station is right next to the junior high, dog. Yeah. And it's only, like, a seven-minute walk from my pad for, like, we ran to the pad shit. And, like, you just start seeing smoke, dog. No way. All it did was burn, like, eight lockers, dog. But that was, like, enough right there. Fuck. And they knew it was you? Thought she told on me, dog. Oh, <laughs> man. Fuck. Did you uh, get any? Come on, player. They moved, that. They were like, why you hang around this little beaner six, six <laughs> grade? We're moving. I, had, I think I had a mustache. Well, I was one of those fucking, I was the older. <laughs> Chuty, like you look Yeah, yeah. I wasn't yeah, Chuty. Like, like, it looked like he was in high school already. Yeah. Yeah. That's why she liked you. I was wearing my brother's guest clothes and shit. Trying to look older. All Cortez. All perfumed out, huh? Yeah. All perfumed out, huh? Cool water? No. No? Your brother's part. Your brother, no? That was preferred stock back then. Oh, yeah, preferred stock. The green bottle, huh? The bluish green? <laughs> nah, he doesn't. Hey, homie. Know, hey, yeah. <laughs> hey, homie. That was like better than Dolce Gabbana back then, though. Your <laughs> shit? Yeah, like if you got pulled over, homie, the hooters will let you go. They'll be like, oh, keep going. Like, he's going to get He's him. preferred, right? Yeah, now. <laughs> because when, you can't do drive-bys with that, dog. It's like you can't gangbang with that when you wear it and you go get high enough. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> They're like, no, don't. Because, go, yeah, don't stop it's me. a waste. Like, I'm going to get busted wearing this one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to save that cologne for when I get out. Mm, those are always Christmas gifts, too. Yeah. <laughs> we... You know what? Speaking of that... That's what I tell my kids. They're like, what do you want for Christmas? I'm like, you know what I want? I want fucking long socks, white t-shirts, and cologne. <laughs> you like cologne, fool? Different ones or a certain one? Certain ones, dog. And sometimes people introduce you to new shit, too. Right? Yeah. yeah. People are like, damn, for where's their all? That's from Belgium, man. <laughs> Yo, there's, what about those fools that make the the perfume? You seen that? <sighs> On the well, corner it's like shit? supposed to be better than... Oh, the fragrance is supposed to be all natural. I don't know. It's yeah, I'm not shit. trying to smell like a fucking unicorn. <laughs> They'd be like, this food smells like fucking some aqua after a while. Uh. Like, <laughs> Xavier. Uh. Xavier's like, cologne does nothing for... Hey, dog, this fool. <laughs> I bought this fool he the don't polo bottle. He sprays cologne. This fool sprayed the polo bottle, and then the fucking fool on the, the, fool on the horse hit Xavier. <laughs> 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 He's a whore. He was like, why uh, you keep asking, dog? Why you got to take away... I'll put more on that motherfucker. <laughs> you put a grip of a cologne or what? Yeah, if we have to. Yeah? Yeah. You just got like to put enough, right? How, how yeah. do you put it? How do you put it? Because well, I smoke weed, so I get all paranoid. I'm all paranoid. And then I just, just, just smell like weed yeah. and cologne at the same time. I look, it smells stupider, but... You put it on your clothes, though? Yeah. Oh, okay. Because there, there's like... You, you You're not supposed to put it on your clothes. You don't put it on yeah, your clothes. You people, put it like on your they shit. Were, some people do it on their wrist. I'll fucking yeah, spray it up. I'll just walk under it. Yeah, right? <laughs> that, that's what I do. <laughs> Ooh, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> nah, hey, hey. I, I try to be bougie, dog. <laughs> I, I, I spray it on my wrist and I go like, like that. And I go yeah. behind the ears. Well, that's the white style. <laughs> Man. And then I fucking do the... Like, the, like, like I dodge it, but it gets me. I'm like... Yeah, like I just spray that shit. You don't do that shit on my hand. You don't do that shit on my bicep. That shit on like that ocean. What? Oh, I never spray yeah. that shit. <laughs> burn, burn you and shit. Ah. Bicep <laughs> <laughs> shit. That's because your dad yeah. has like your dad never. Your dad's old school bicep. Like, he had fucking pubic hair from from sixth grade. So like, <laughs> never shaved. Huh? I don't know. You don't know. Now Food, you're older fools, they don't give a fuck. They're uh, fucking in the seventies, eh? Bush. Yeah. Uh, what about you, Tommy? You know, you don't fuck no. You're straight fucking razor. <laughs> Imagine when you fucking shave well, all like straight that. Razor. Uh. <laughs> 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 oh, 
Tom, you would you know, need a brand new blade every time, shaved too. Up, babe. That shouldn't be getting tucked. Well, as soon as it starts pooling or anything, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> Much is going to have little chunks. They're like, hey, bald spots. Bald spots. Huh? So you don't shave your balls? Hell no. Nah. No, well, uh, I fucking, uh, that Manscaped shit, this one never hooked me up with that Manscaped. shit. Nah, you're the only one that doesn't have one? Come on, dog. Yeah. I thought you could do it in the water. You can. That's it then. Yeah. You ever use Manscaped? No, what's that? It's like this. Uh, they used to sponsor us. They sh- we shouldn't be talking about it. <laughs> <laughs> but it's all good. So uh, Manscaped's like this uh, razor dog that's like, it doesn't cut your cuerito, dog. Like they test it like on kiwi and, and peach and all yeah, that shit. Yeah, dog. And like, you're like, I even go hard. Like right on the side. Side. I try to sue them, dog. Like, <laughs> try to break it up. Yeah. I, hey, dog, I even plugged that shit into my generator, turned it up. Smoking and shit on. Right? Oh, damn, like I put man. a little drop of nozzle in it. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. What you say? Oh, that noise you made, Tommy? Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> Turn it on. Little fucking smoke starts coming out. The little fucking muffler, like the motorcycles. Yeah. Now, A4, I've shaved my balls because it's just tradition, dog. Just like, like that? With the fucking, like. The Mach 3, man. Mach 3, dog. Like you leave a little, like, yeah. Yeah, you leave a little trail, a little landing nah, trail. player, I fucking, like. Like I, I treat my fucking my taint like, like, like you know in prison when you move something. Montana when he was like when Wallace was all in his beard. Did yeah. yeah. you have that one? <laughs> oh uh, man, she gonna be so proud. <laughs> 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 do it, Tommy. Do it, Tommy. Yeah. You ever grip? You ever pick grapes, Wallace? <laughs> no, but I sure cut me a bunch. <laughs> now, what does he say when he gets stabbed? He's like, <sighs> he's all get away from. He's all you gonna get away with killing my brother? Uh, uh-uh. uh. <laughs> no, no. Before, dog. Remember, he's like, I don't know For who you times. are. I don't know who you are in Pelican Bay, but over here in Kern County, you're just a normal. He's like. I'm going to see him. I haven't seen my daughter. Remember he says that? <laughs> he's like, I haven't seen her in 14 years. And then he's fucking, when he's getting cleaned up. Yeah. Like, oh, can you give me a minute? Yeah, for he's, like, he's like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, when he got his, like, <laughs> no, remember he gets out of bed all, <laughs> he's like, he's like, oh, fuck. oh, Wallace? Yeah. He's fucking old ass man. <laughs> like, can you hold this for me? He's like, I want to see my daughter. <laughs> That's fucked up, huh? I'm sad, eh? I'm a tear up thinking about it. But you know what? That was that was writ- that part was specifically written to like uh to this is my opinion. This is from the movie is to let people know that like uh this fool was doing so good and he's finally gonna see his kid and like now nah, homie that's another world you're in right there. Yeah. At any moment, any time you could be took from this motherfucker, dog. And I mean, when I was busted, after watching Blood and Blood Out, I, I was more scared of the black old men than the big buff ones. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Get the little old man right here. <laughs> hey, who picked grapes? Watch out for them. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> Fucking Wallace. Oh, man. Yeah, man. So um, you get out. You're 100 pounds heavier. Where do you start the tradition Triple OG, because I know you got you got a huge fitness program working now, helping people get their mind and their body right, and it's feeding me, homie. Yeah, thank you. So, uh, when did that transition happen? It happened years after, you know. Like when I got out, I just focused into bettering my life. You know what I'm saying? Because you can't fix people if your life ain't good. You know what I'm saying? It's true to that. I can't coach you when I have problems myself. You, that, you, your problems. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, relapse, Raymond. Yeah. So you have to fix yourself before uh-huh. you fix anybody. So when I got out, I had fucking demons. I was cheater on my wife and shit. Fucking. So I wasn't fixed. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Later on down the line, me and my cousin we always fucking um start work. We always worked out. You know, my my cousin girl fitness. He's into fitness too. You oh know? yeah, yeah. I seen that guy. Yes, my cousin. He's so. light skinned, ball fast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So me and him would always work out and just hustle together and shit. And then um, we started dropping weight, you know. And then fucking he started. He got into the coaching thing. Then he involved me after. He's like, "Hey, why don't you fucking be coaching and shit?" I was like, "What do you have to do and shit? I have to talk to people and and coach them." I'm like, "Fuck, I don't know about that." I'm because I was always shy to be on the camera, you know. Yeah, to yourself. Yeah, to yourself. It's weird, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's a lot of people's problem. They, they they try to talk and they oh I don't like it. So I was like that too, you know. Then um, 
Sure enough, I fucking started doing it. I signed up. I said, "Fuck it, let me let me do it." I'm already, I already looked the part. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. So once I paid the first month, man, I got so many clients. I made like fifty five thousand dollars in one month. Wow! Just on the coaching. Wow! No fucking way. Yeah. So like right now, wow. right now, I probably make two thousand bucks a day on my coaching program. That's good. Congratulations, that brother. That's time. awesome, man. You know, so found the formula. Yeah, found the formula. But I said once once you fix yourself and you're ready, then you could teach others. You know what I'm saying? So. Like like I said last month, me and my cousin had an event. It was ten people. They paid five thousand dollars each. We gave them the whole blueprint, of the whole breakdown. You know. That's what's up. So that's what we're gonna do every month now. It's called the Revelation event. You know. The but, Revelation event. Yeah. Can you explain it more? Like, where do you guys meet up? How do you sign up? Well, like on the Revelation event, like we'll start posting it. You know, what I'm saying we'll go we'll go to my estate right here by the beach and shit. Mm -hmm. Big old fucking big old spot I have, and then um. I'll rent out a private um, gym for my homie, mm -hmm. so everything's private. So we'll like a, a Friday is like a meet and greet. Everybody flies in. Like this last time, people flew in from Kansas, Texas, wow. baller foods. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Lawyers, it's crazy, man. Trying like, to get their mind right. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. So like then the second day, Saturday is called the breakthrough. The breakthrough is like, like what's stopping you from being a better person? What's stopping you? You know what I'm saying? What demons do you have? You know? So that's called the breakthrough. So if like, something's stopping you, you're going to be like, okay, fuck, man, I'm a cheater or this and that. Because I'm going to tell you my story. Like, hey, I was a cheater. I was an asshole. I was married to my wife. We got fucking separated. Like, I'm, I'm going to tell you, like, the whole get down, like, my whole story. Mm -hmm. So it's going to tell you, like, oh, shit. Then you're going to tell me, like, fuck, this is my problem. This is what I, you know what I'm saying? That's called the breakthrough. Okay. So once we break the shit out of you, then you're, you're a step closer. I wouldn't tell you everything, though. Eh? <laughs> yeah, no, no, no. You know what I'm saying? And then the, then the Sunday part, that's more of the business. So okay, we're going to show you the coaching. We're going to show you the nutrition, the macros, the workouts, the programs. So it's a three-day event, you know? Oh, wow. But everybody that left, they already made all their money back within one month. Mo mostly everybody, you know what I'm saying? So it's... But it's like other dudes that do coaching and shit. Yeah, like if say, oh, okay, like, okay. say like if you say if you like, drop say if you dropped 120 pounds, you're like fuck yeah. yeah, you know what I'm saying? People are asking, hey Tommy, how how did you drop 120 pounds? Well, tell me your secret. Like I'm coaching, join my program. Then you start building your clientele. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And then from there, like you say, your own your your own uh, commercial, your own your own fucking. Tommy, what are you um, gonna name your business now? <laughs> Tommy Guns. <laughs> like, Tommy Buns. <laughs> Tommy, <laughs> Tommy Buns. And for you are getting thicker, dog. Yeah? Yeah. Not in a good way, though, dog. It's cold, eh? Not in a good way. You're hibernating? You, you're turning I'm pink? just trying to get big right now. Hey, if you look at Tommy, be honest, dog. Are, uh -huh. you, are you like, look at this fat piece of shit? <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. If you he, if he were to be like, hey, look at me, how do I look? But like, oh, you look fat, you know? Yeah. No, for real. It's like, yeah. you get, like you're stocky, you know what I'm saying? But everybody has, like him right there, he, he probably wants a prison look. Like stocky, you know what I'm saying? But him, I would say, well, we, we have to drop you 100 pounds and reverse you and put all the good uh, carbs and good fats into him. You know what I'm saying? How much and, you weigh, Tommy? Don't lie. Right now? 280. 280? So Damn, if, dude. If we had you at probably. 205. 205. 205, and then we'll reverse you with like 25 pounds of lean muscle and good fasting carbs, you're going to look like you're fucking 300. Just fucking battling fools, doing fucking windmills. No, for sure. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you, 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 you look good. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people think, I'm big. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to yeah. lose my size. Yeah, you're just losing fat off your muscle. Yeah. That's all it is. You have fucking four inches of fat on top of your muscle. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? So you're losing fat. You're not losing muscle. Yeah. Yeah. Four months? Well, not not four, <laughs> for, for 100 pounds, probably like maybe a good six or seven. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but year, a, a solid Tommy. year. A solid year, if you want to do like the reverse. You don't get that much fat, yeah? <laughs> I'll start coaching in six months. Yeah, <laughs> tell, tell the mother in law yeah, shit. <laughs> mother in law, you know. <laughs> Let me make a phone call real quick. A phone call. I got an investment. You know, but coaching, the investment, 5,000 bucks. It's returnable easy. It's returnable easy. You got no overhead. You have your cell phone and you have your fucking gym pass. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, so what? there's no overhead. And there. what, you just go and teach foods at the gym? It's all online. All online. Oh, and you're just, they're just watching like a Zoom of you? No, so like, so boom, say if you sign up, I'm going to send you, okay, boom. Or okay, you, have a, you have a home workout gym. Oh, the sets. You you sent yeah, like what not, to do, yeah, I'm gonna what, say what to eat, eat everything. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, yeah, okay. Yeah, and then look at the proof. Yeah, 
The proof is in the motherfucker. Yeah, it's in the pudding. It's right there. You know what I'm saying? So, like I said, so I'm going to send you the workouts. I'm going to send you all the nutrition, your macros. I'm, I'm going to you- tell you what foods to get, what shit weighs, how to weigh shit. You know what I'm saying? All the meats, everything to buy. So, I'm going to give you the whole blueprint. So, it's up to you to conquer it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Shoot me the number. I'm going to text you right now. <laughs> no, for real, man. Like I said, like I said, it's an investment. It's, it's, well, it's, hey, health, hey. health is wealth. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah. Like everybody's dying young, you know what I'm saying? Why not live an extra? You know what I'm saying? They say uh, one day and one more day. Hey, my cat's listening. She wants he's to work a, out. Uh, he's like, I'm gonna work out. I'm gonna do some push-ups right, right. now. I gotta do. So, hey, Tommy, if he could get you to lose a hundred pounds, you guys can like probably come out on Oprah because you're oh, a you hard can, fool. You're not disciplined, dog. I'll be hey, on fucking palabra, me. dog. <laughs> Even if you it's were like... It's a challenge. Job. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> like, if, if, if we didn't make you, but we made Tommy live in this house with you, he would hide ice cream under his bed. Like, <laughs> under his armpit. What's yeah, up, man? Yeah. That's cologne right there. It's ice cream. Like, I got to go throw the trash out. You didn't got Tito's on. No, but... on Tito rapper? It's all fun and games until you're laying in a hospital bed. Mm-hmm. Let's see how people laugh at, you know what I'm saying? At that oh, situation. Yeah. You got diabetes. We got to cut your foot off. There's all the fucking fun and laughing at that, when that shit happens. You know what I'm saying? So if you have a point, like like right now, like if you're healthy and you could better yourself, why not? Yeah. You know what I'm Hell saying? Yeah. Because when you're laying in the hospital bed, that's when motherfuckers are crying. Oh, fuck, I should have did this. I was a laughing <laughs> stock. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, you know what I'm saying? So it's just di- different yeah. ways how you calibrate it in your head. You know? X, I'm going to live longer than you, fool. No way, dog. <laughs> because all you eat is people's leftovers, so you don't eat as good as me. I don't eat a lot, though. Yeah, okay, hold up. I fast. How important is fasting? But fasting's fa- fa- only fasting's, good. Yes, yeah, it's good. You know what I'm saying? But um, look, like sometimes when you fast, like okay, say you fasted, all right, for what, ten hours? No, like I just don't eat breakfast. Hey, uh, do okay, you do like vegan. Hold on, diet? hold on, fool, hold on. Yeah, so look, <laughs> your first meal now is a you. Your first meal is like dockies or some. Nah, you just you fucked were, it no, up. You were yeah, dockies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fuck that. That fuck yeah. you up. Dockies. Yeah, fuck no. Yeah, Xavier, I'm gonna live longer than you, dog. No, I'm way. gonna make sure it happens. Trust me. As long as we both outlive Urban and Psydick Eddie, I don't care. Psydick Eddie. Yeah, I don't think you're going to outlive Psydick Eddie, dog. There's he's, no way. He's working out. His he, teeth ain't even back in town. I know. That's why, dog. He's working out because like, he, he worked out and he pushed it out. <laughs> so already yeah. was working out. Dude. No, like, I started working out and, you know, I went hard and I, I lightened up. I'm going to go back. And, you know, it's... I'll tell you this, dog. To me... My problem is, is I get pulled so many places that I... I'll lag on myself not to lag on someone else. Because I'm like, fuck, I'm supposed to go to the gym. I'm like, fuck, I got a meeting. I can't. And then, <laughs> you know what I mean? And then, yeah. like, I'll get out the meeting. And then, like, we're like, hey, you got to do a, a spot right now. I'm like, oh, fuck. Yeah, I can't turn the spot down because that's how I pay my <laughs> bills. bills. Yeah. You know? But uh, in all honesty, this is the real discipline. After all that, I can still come home and do a home workout or something, right or wrong. Exactly. But at the, at, at, at the end of the day, it's your nutrition. Working out is only twenty percent, fifteen percent. You could be what you eat. Is what you eat. It's it's what you eat. So if you get up in the morning, you do two hundred push ups a day. That's it. You're gonna fucking drop weight like that. It's all the nutrition. Oh wow. So where's the excuse in that? Like me, like I have my lunchbox with me with all my drinks in there, my little meats and shit. You know what I'm saying? And if I go somewhere, my food's ready there, so I have no excuses. Like, oh, or if you go to a restaurant, fucking chicken breast, and half a cup of white rice, or, you know, I mean, a little bit of fucking whole beans, that's it. Some f- chicken fajitas. Tommy's like, I'm never going to do this. What do you have at the restaurant? Egg whites, you know three what I'm saying? Plates. Yeah. Three plates. Hey, that's why they call them three plates. Three <laughs> that's what I thought you were supposed to wait. Nah. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> <laughs> like three plates, I was like, it's fuck. only bench like one sixty, dog. <laughs> oh, three plates, oh, yeah. fuck. <laughs> at least three plates. <laughs> fuck. Three, can you put up three fifteen right now? Fuck, right now, hell no. I helping you. That's the time. I'm like, nope. Uh, I'll have to man. put the one with the rail on the side. <laughs> fucking wait. I, oh. So I got, I got a question. Um, what's up? What's up? Is everyone's doing it? What do you think about the what is it? The hard seventy five. Which one? Hard seventy five or everyday seventy five or hard? Yeah, it's called hard seventy five. Where you do seventy five days, no, no liquor, no drinking, and you work out for seventy five days. Everyone's been doing it. You've never heard of bullshit, it? Bullshit, man. Yeah, <laughs> yeah you know, oh, okay. Like, like well, me, like, like, right, like me, like my, yeah, like me, right, like right now, like I could drink. You know what I'm saying? It ain't gonna hurt you. Liquor is kind of good for you. You know what I'm saying? If you really look at it, you can't abuse it. 
But it's I mean you can have four or five shots. It ain't gonna hurt you. You know what I'm saying? That 75 challenge, that's just bullshit. You know? It's just. But like, you still drinking shit? You're not like no fucking alcohol, brother. No, so I, I, every Are you day. Paul Hogan all of a sudden? <laughs> <laughs> well, fuck out there, fuck out. They're like, fuck that, fucking no fucking alcohol, fucking all that bullshit. No, I don't know. I, I do what shit. the fuck I want to do. You know what I'm saying? Like I live my life. I show my life. I show my clients my life. Like, you can't do it now. You know what I'm saying? Like, me and you can't go to a fucking go eat a big old steak and cake. You can't do it yeah. because you have a lot of fat on you. You haven't earned it. You know what I'm saying? I could do it because I have no fat on me. My body's at 2% fat right now. Yeah. So the cake, the ice cream, my body needs that. So I'm so depleted, that shit just fucking gets my veins all pumped up. I won't gain a pound. So I could enjoy my life because I went through the struggle already. That whole year of discipline, yeah. now I could do whatever the fuck I wanted to. So someone says, you're on a diet. How am I on a diet if I eat cake and ice cream every fucking day and I go to Benihana's or I eat a, a, a ribeye? How's that a diet? You tell me. Oh, you're right, huh? You know what I'm saying? So yeah. if you get to where yeah, you want to get. So if you're right now. So if, no, no. So if you get. No, so if you get. So if you get where you want to get, boom, then you could. I could show you how to manipulate the system. So when okay. people say diet this and that, I don't fuck a diet. I say don't tell talk about diet in front of me. Like you know like, saying? hey homie, th- this is the kind of fool I am, dog. So like, I did two twenty five twice. <laughs> <laughs> My kids couldn't believe me, dog. Oh shit! <laughs> and then after that, I fucking did coke for like a day and a half. Man. <laughs> you were so happy. He called me. Yeah. He celebrated. He celebrated. Oh like, What's up? Were y'all coke and he did it? Nah. Nah. <laughs> I'm scared to work out on drugs. Fuck. I That's bad, that. right? Fuck. I don't know. Fuck. Uh, no, because a lot of people, that was the rumor. Like, bodybuilders do coke to get cut up. I was like, what the fuck? I'd be ripped. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> oh, bad, huh? That should get you. Did uh, well, Arnold Schwarzenegger. He said he tried everything. He has the. I I I think he had the best body ever as far as detail and not over detail or under detail. Yeah, yeah. Right. Well, Lippin, body right? Yeah, it, nice. his body was just like fuck that fool's buff, but not over buff, but over buff. Six two two twenty five. Yeah. Oh, fuck, look like he was fucking six four three hundred. Exactly, dude. His chest. Yeah, that was a big ass fool. Hmm. You think you can fucking outlift them, dog? If you were to do the, cause the challenge you, after hundred, hundred. Not a challenge though. Eight months, not a challenge, but a workout, uh, hardcore schedule. I say you guys do like a thousand dollar bet right now. Jump off program and see, you know, see who clocks out. Boom. How about we do the program and the one who loses pays? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. We could do that. I can get, I, I'll, I'll get you both guys lined up. Fucking Damn. three months. And whoever fucking does, like they both me, bills. If you get me all, look, but you know what's going to happen? Is you're going to get me all ripped and shit, then I'm just going to ruin my whole life and go bone everybody and party. Be like, <laughs> he's like, he's like, well, like that, ripping his shirt. Uh, yeah, uh, uh, for me, huh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Everyone with no shirt on? Fucking George Kreischer over here, all of a sudden, he's going to stand here, uh, come out, fucking like, taking a shirt off. All puffed out. <laughs> no, I'll never do that, dog. Oh, man. <laughs> Damn, I'm getting excited, dog. I'm thinking about it. Doing a program It's good man like, no, it's good. Okay, better, okay. better, better get, your life you know, let's, let's break it down Better your life You know So like I'm such like I'm like a stripper dog <laughs> So how many days a week Do I really have to work out <laughs> Well like I said it, the Working out You can do five, five days You know what I'm saying <laughs> But the diet is seven days, right? Seven days of diet, you know what I'm saying? Until you get where you want to get. Say, I want to drop 80 pounds. Once we drop your 80 pounds, okay, this is what you're, this is what you're going to do now. So you can have whatever you want to eat. Your Jolly Ranchers or Gummy Bears, yeah, whatever. I don't care. I just I care about you know what I'm like, saying? So once you get to where you want to get your goals, and then you can fuck around, do whatever you want to do. Oh, wow. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? So I'm going to show you. And just maintain. Just maintain, okay, this, this is, okay, I'm going to eat my cake for later. I'm not gonna eat two cups of rice. I'm only gonna eat half a cup of rice. So you're gonna manipulate the system. Yes. So at the end of the day, it's all gonna add up to your body what you need. Oh wow. Do you help foods get big too? Like yeah. foods that are small, like yeah, fuck yeah. Like you? That's what I'm saying. That's what's called a reverse. So the guys that are two thirty that are like got that prison look, we take them down to two hundred. And we reverse them thirty back pounds again, where they look like they're two seventy, but all muscle and good fats, you know, and good carbs. So Tell me, that one fool big boy and shit, that fool's a big ass fool. Yeah, yeah big he, boy, yeah, he's he, big. He, he's cutting right strength now, Strength cartel, too. he's yes, big he's as cutting. hell. He was at three something right now. He did strength cartel, right? He's big, dog. Yeah, he just dropped 50 pounds, so he's, yeah. he's cutting down, too. Everybody's cutting right now. That's yeah. the look. That's and where that's, it's at. That's where it's at right now. Everybody wants to have So kind of like me, but better. Yeah. I'll do a before picture Tommy, after this. How, how tall are you? 
Six foot one and I'm six, tons of fun. Oh, six, shit. <laughs> six foot one. And what are you like, what? 230 right now? 220? No, I'm like 212, 215. 215, so get you down to like 170 and then reverse you back up to 180 and you're going to look like you're 215. Boom. But but just slim and sleek and looking uh, good, you know? Like me at 180 and then I talk to Heinos like sugar free, dog. <laughs> it's a wrap. It's over, player. Like my kids are going to leave me. They're going to be like, the fuck, Dan? Look better than Nancy. <laughs> <laughs> We look all skinny, eh? Once mm. at one seventy. What's up, homie? I want to take a shot. Do it. You want a shot? Yeah. Take cool. a shot, Xavier. Get the motherfucking shots ready. And, g- and give me a toaita, por favor. <laughs> Is it on me? All right, you go ahead. Leave it on me, dog. Hey, homie. Uh, I'm very excited that you came down. We're, we're not done or nothing like that, but like, I just, I just wanted like, you know, uh, I've been watching samurai movies lately, dog, and I've never believed in fate. And until a samurai broke it down, he's like, fate isn't like uh, something made up by man. Fate is just an explanation for something that, like, I feel like you came upon us because, like, I've been trying to get with the program, remember? Yeah. And I, I just, I don't believe in that. You know how it is, dog. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because, yeah, yeah. like, I, I watch videos of, you remember the one in Napoleon Dynamite where that fool has, he's like, you, he's, he's like, you do a roundhouse with these you ever seen the the, uh, the karate teacher with the American <laughs> pants? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that was bad off. Yay! But like now, homie, like I've seen your videos and like y- it's there. The no, progress it's... is all there. Yeah, no, it's there for sure. You know, proof is in the pudding. Like I said, man. And it... you good? Yeah, good. Oh. Yeah, good. Spencer, homie, we're doing a. We're, we're gonna. We're, I gotta do a shot for you, bro. Yeah, hell yeah. <laughs> That's expensive shit, huh? Rubbing alcohol. <laughs> Are you a tequila? Tequila, yeah. Because it's healthy, huh? Yeah, they say it. Oh, any tequila they say is pretty good, you know. For it one time we drink agave, that shit is dangerous, oh, fool. Shit. Because that shit doesn't taste like crazy like this. And it's just smooth, fool. And you can just drink it. But it's like, I don't know if it's stronger or what, but uh, we got Fuck the agave is dangerous, and it was straight from Mexico. It was like a little fucking jug. You ever drink that I shit? That agave called mezcal. Think, yeah. Isn't that shit called mezcal? I don't fucking know what it, agave. Straight up. No, is it mezcal? <laughs> the shit in the fucking thing? <laughs> yeah. yeah. No, it's, it's agave. Agave is the plant fool. Yeah, mezcal is it is tequila, yeah. right? It's yeah. one of those motherfucking shits. Well, that shit gets you fucked. That's up. why they call them three plates. <laughs> no, well, mezcal then. I'm tripping. Why do I call it fucking agave? Agave is that one shit, no? No, it is. Yeah, agave is fucking alcohol. Yeah, but. And that's the one that comes straight from Mexico in a little jug. Like. But you said it was just in a bottle. Mezcal doesn't have a label. Like, mezcal is not sold like with a. Yeah, it's like a just a plastic jug. Yeah. It was a uh, agave though. I don't do shit like that. Like you ever go to the liquor store and they got like what's that other shit in a jar that they sell? The the moonshine? Yeah. Oh, moonshine. Fuck. Oh, that shit. <laughs> that shit'll get yeah. you fucked up. That shit'll get drink that shit. <laughs> All warm. That's the shit you drink like fool, if you drink if you drink that shit, it, it warms you up, but if you drink too much it it gets you fucked up. Like you're not you supposed overheat. to. You overheat. You can't just sit there and down it or be taking. You're supposed to just take little sips of that shit. That, like, that or it fucks like you up. It gets you like sick. you're eating pussy right now. Just little sippies. You know what I'm saying? Sip mine. Have you ever ate pussy before, Tommy? Yeah. Backwards. <laughs> Backwards. When was the first time? But have you you ate pussy with that t- with those teeth? With those teeth? Yeah. I feel bad for that Take female bites. dog. You're taking my pussy. We the teeth like that. Damn, like, suck is so hard. Like, this is damn, man. Even like a motherfucking melon with no spoon. <laughs> <laughs> Sick ass food. Uh. Nah, I, you I see fools eat the watermelon on fast? <laughs> That's how you are. <laughs> Give me this motherfucker. Fuck, I'm mad dog pussy. I'm like, bitch, don't everything. I'm, I'm just talking to you right now to let you know you're about to get beat up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, dare put my mouth on you. You're <laughs> tripping. 
And then she's like, what are you doing down there? I'm like, no, you're nothing. <laughs> Warming it up. <laughs> I don't want to get assault charges. I'm asking. <laughs> <laughs> oh, now, man. Afo, have you ever had a... Hey, dog. Uh, I'm a hood rat, fool. I've been with a lot of hyenas, a lot of strippers, you know? And a lot of strippers have sense of humor, dog. I was thinking of the story the other day, but like, I remember this one hyena, she had a beautiful pussy, dog. But that bitch... And knew how to queef at you, dog. <laughs> and, she, and she was just like, hey, go down there, give her a little kiss. And I was like, fuck, this bitch is... Was it the athletic one? The no. one where we're supposed to go to the beach with this? This is before you, player. This is before you. When you were little. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> little yeah kids, hey, dog, yeah. I've, I've been at the strip club business for... I've been in it. Since 2001. Oh, yeah. man. You're, yeah, you're a, lot, a lot of them under your belt. I fall, I'm like, <laughs> Those are the good years, too. Yeah, like uh, the, two, the early 2000s were the yeah. good years. I, sometimes I just sit on my couch and I cry. Dog. <laughs> <laughs> like Eddie? <laughs> well, those were the good years, dog. Yeah, we'll talk nah, about fall, that. I've been sad lately, dog. No, I'm 46, dog. When I went in there, I was like 20, 21. And a lot of those girls were 20, 21, too now. And I've seen a couple of them homeless, dog. Nah. No. Yeah. And then a, a a homeless stripper, that means, like, she's not down to, to prostitute, but she's going to prostitute now for drug. It's crazy, dog. Oh, like, from drugs and Like, shit. the drugs. And a, a lot of pimps don't want druggy prosties, dog, like that. <laughs> Like, come on, bitch! You got a shower at least. You can't be coming in with like you got Tommy's teeth. Get out of here! <laughs> Tommy, I see some dirty ass fucking like I see no that fool in downtown. that's like a pimp, dirty looking ass fool. I'm like, this motherfucker's a pimp. Yeah, it's a lot of his his gift of gab, Flair. It's the mind, the control. mouth, huh? Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Shit, I don't steal nothing but a bitch's mind. <laughs> 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 Shit, you got to fucking real, be talking to him, huh? You know, uh, I told this stripper once. I was like, bitch, you made me so mad right now. I feel like... <laughs> I feel like just putting my fingers in your motherfucking ears because like, whatever I tell you, you don't listen to shit. <laughs> she was just like... That's a bright idea. <laughs> <laughs> she did me. <clears throat> what would, you, what would you, your pimp name be, dog? Your payo? Fuck, what would it be? I, I have to have a player as sick ass name. I would go with like uh They would call me El Padrino. Yeah. <laughs> They're like he baptized this pussy. <laughs> <laughs> sick ass and, and there's no one in the cartel called that, right? Nah. Okay, I can use that one. Yeah. <laughs> he's well, he's like, I'm waiting for mine. You got one, Tommy? <laughs> Huh? You got you got a you got a nickname? If you're nah, he's like my wife ain't listening. Cadillac or some shit like Cadillac. That. Cadillac, that's basic, dog. They're like, man, <laughs> little, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you little gold flake. That's good. That's gold flake. <laughs> gold flake. <laughs> that's metal flake. <laughs> now, cause like a a pimp's name has to be cold. Yeah, it's a, something like it's a, ice. And the ice tea is a pimp. Uh, sugar free. Sugar free. Too Damn. short. Muy bajo. Muy bajo. Yeah, I like the that. Mexican, the Mexican yeah. too short. Muy bajo. Yeah, muy bajo. <laughs> hey. Chill. How about you, triple OG? Yeah, like, triple OG. That name right there. Yeah. <laughs> right. Triple OG right, right there. Muy bajo. I triple OG could be a pimp name. I could hear some yeah. I could hear some female. But like, I'm, oh, a, I'm with triple. Yeah, I'm with triple. I'm with triple. I owe triple. I, owe, I gotta give triple a 20%, you know? <laughs> Straight no, up. 100%. <laughs> well, like I said, 20%. 100%. I could, I could have pimped out a lot of them, too, but I felt bad. I have a heart. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah, they always ask me. Man, I could have pimped out a lot of them girls, oh, man. Like, we don't get shit, nothing. But I have a heart, man. I was like, fuck, I can't I do that, I got to bail this Fuck. bitch out when she goes to it's jail. It's the karma. I got Exactly. Yep. You're not bailing a bitch out of jail. That's your property, Tommy. You need it to make money. It ain't I know. That's what I'm saying. But these hyenas get busted for soliciting... I gotta come in there and bail them see, out. One, I need one hundred percent. See, I'd be with, a with, smarter with their, with their money though. Yeah, exactly. Tell me, like, yeah, my money. I would, I would be like, look, check it out. I'm everybody walk around with like thirty M and M's in the box and just be like, what's up? You want to buy this? 
And if the cops come, like, I wasn't selling my pussy, so I was selling the M&M's. Yes. Like, you know what I mean? There's always, and you know what else is a big scapegoat too? Oh, I've said this before, dog. <laughs> if you really want to be a fucking pimp, all you got to do is just say, hey, I make custom porno DVDs. Come over, you give me 500 bucks, you can have sex with this girl, and I make you a DVD, here's a DVD, and you leave. Like, it's, it's entertainment now. Yes. Hey, hey, is, is that how to beat the system? Probably. <laughs> <Yeah. Yeah. laughs> be like, get your porno making ass up out of here. Uh, <laughs> Come here, play your guys. Oh, you're going to jail. <laughs> One's got an iPhone and shit. What the shit are y'all talking uh, about? Hey, droid, uh, droid all fucking, fucking broken uh, and shit on. Is that a GoPro? I got a GoHo. This is said he was making movies. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> There's some crazy shit, though. The. the Fucking on Figueroa's feet. Oh yeah, that shit yeah. is Figueroa wild. was cracked. So is Beach Boulevard. Hey, they dog. said that, that so shit. So was in Pomona. Like, there, but it's cool right there. To like the cops, never cool. It's, it's not. They cool said nowhere. it's solicit. It's a it's look, legal look. or some shit. Can we speak? It's not legal, dog. Only because there's houses in that area. You could like some people are vouching like, oh, this is my property. They can hang out right here. It's a hey, homie that. They're going to bust you. Prostituting is like bringing over kilos of coke. You got to let three bitches get caught a day so the other 30 can work. Yeah. It's what it is, dog. Shit has to be reported. Like when they do the stash and grabs, they don't grab everybody. They grab three fools. We got three. We got three Jordans back. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 100 pair of guns. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It just is what it is. Like, dude, on Beach Boulevard. At a risk to reward, you know? Yeah. It, hey, homie. I found out the pimps are smart now. So when is there most traffic? At six in the morning and at nine and, and times of leaving. So so na- yeah, so now they send the they send the exactly they send the prostitutes out at four thirty, five o'clock. And the price is out there going, mama. They, 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 they give, try to get some before they went to exactly. work. Their wife ignored them. They're all horned out. They're yeah. like, the and plus, now that you're working, you you got to come home and shower after work. Yeah, you're, you're sweating shit. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? And, and also, then yeah, you can up. sweat out chlamydia. <laughs> <laughs> if you do construction, just throw some cement on the bed. Oh, shit. <laughs> what happened? I think the little milkshake. Take a couple showers. Yeah, my stomach hurts. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Yo, everybody, we got Triple OG uh, in the building. We're going to be right back after the short break. Take a shower. Three plates power. Late. <laughs> and we're back like a hood rat in the Cadillac waiting for the Sizzag. <laughs> George Press Storage is also brought to you by Gunther's, located in downtown Santana. If you're looking for a Pendleton, Khakis, Ben Davis, Frisco Band, Solo. 501s, Hush Puppy, Stacy Adams, Vans, Carhartt. Look, it's it's a Chicano culture look, and it's also a hardworking man look. They got the red wing boots. You, you know what I'm saying? Well, the like, are sick, yo. Yeah, it, it, it's us. So yeah. if you want to represent still and look like a G and wear some American-made clothes that's just tough and last, hit up my boys at Gunther's. They got a store in Santana. One off of Broadway, one off of Maine. They got one in Monte. They got a, a section at Suavecito headquarters. And uh, if you live out of California, X. Go to Gunters.co, right, Tommy? Dot co? Yeah. Go to Gunters.co. We don't have a promo code, but you will look for me. That's what's <laughs> up. Also, May 4th, I am hosting the Michilada Festival going down in Arcadia at Santa Anita Park. And uh, it's going to be sick, dog. It's going to be sick. You ready, Tommy? Santa Anita Racetrack. Is right. it true, Tommy? I heard you're going to be a judge, dog. Is Are you lying? True? I'm going to be judging the Micheladas. <laughs> you're going to be judging the Mojadas. Dog. <laughs> and the, and the, the, what is it? The Kentucky Derby hats. <laughs> is a Michelada good for you? Fuck no. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, check out Tommy's diet, all right? Uh, let me tell you what happens when it comes to my house. X, how many sodas does he drink? At least three sodas. Oh, man. <laughs> no. Three sodas? Uh, Chips, for sure, if you have Chips. them. Cake, hey. cinnamon, cinnamon rolls. Like, he treats it like... Hey, but, but how many candies did he eat that one? How many lollipops? Tommy, you're here. Hell nah. Like, ten lollipops and Damn. one bite. <laughs> and one bite? How many licks? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, look, 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 look. I did them like the owl, eh? So, he, he brought these, right? And he said, oh, these are my favorite. And I'm like, they're good, huh? And he's like, you know what's even better? Get a fruit roll-up. 
and roll it in that. Fuck. <laughs> oh, yeah, he got problems. Yeah, he got problems. He knows all the secrets. <laughs> you put him yeah, on. The kamikaze's like, on. Yeah. yeah. I do this. Like, hey, he gets pancakes, and then he covers them with Rice Krispies. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Rolls up one little piece of the blanket on. <laughs> yeah, he's a bully. They used to call him Di- uh, Diabetes Debo. <laughs> Diabetes Debo. Making up nicknames all day, doggy dog. <laughs> So, hey, brother. What's up? What you're doing right now is great because you're helping people with their body and their mind. Like, we were talking outside, and I was yeah. telling you, like, yeah, now when I work out, my mind is, like, I kind of feel like I'm busted again because, like, when I was busted, I had so much time to do things, but there wasn't things out there for me to do. <laughs> and now that I have time to do, there's too many things out there I don't want to do them. But when I work out, I'm like, oh, I, I stay focused. Is can you explain that theory of it, or what yeah, is it? Yeah, it's just it's just you you're, you get more focus, you clear your mind. You know, it's like it's like a it's like a fucking a pill. It's like a like a depression. It beats everything working out because, like you say, your mind's focused, you clear your mind, and it's just once you start feeling good, you act good, you start feeling great. It's just a whole nother like it's it's just it's it's just good to work out. You know, yeah. you know that's crazy what you just said. Do, is, is there a lot of suicide in bodybuilding? No, huh? Mm-mm. Motherfuckers ain't depressed. Fuck no. They're focused on themselves. Or yeah, the only on... one that was sad was like Lou Ferrigno, yeah, huh? Wow. Yeah, Lou. Yeah. The yeah. ones that do steroids, heavy steroids and yeah. shit. You yeah. Know? They're the ones that get all depressed and cycled out. But yeah, <laughs> the wrestler fools. That's different. Yeah, but that's though. CTE. They're not, they're not, no, they're that's not... more CT than bodybuilding. Yeah. That's getting hit in the fucking head. head and... Putazos, concussion after concussion. Yeah. Drinking, partying, yeah. fucking all that shit. And they fucking, yeah. wife's hey, cheating hey, on them and shit. I got to ask yeah. you, because you, I mean, everyone knows you've been in jail. Did, do the Raza make the inmates work out for mental issues? Or you just work out just to stay fit? Is that you part of to go to war and be ready, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Oh, <laughs> get, like, there's not a moment where like some people just, because he says... You don't get a wheeler like, hey, this is a little happy and I ain't happy right now. <laughs> <laughs> then do so many push-ups. Yeah, like, stop get sound off when you're done. Like, no, nah, dog. <laughs> Fuck you. Why did you just go woke? It's not woke. No, it's not woke. Yeah, no. Yeah, yes, well, no, because if you're depressed, like, you care about fucking mental, depressed like, No, in there? I actually meant because you told me that Rasa is the only one that makes people work out. No, it's not that we. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah. So what I'm trying to say is, it have to do with fucking staying alert, staying like I'm not just, no, not, yeah, not just ready for war, but yeah, like ready, like it's all ready for war, my friend. Yeah, they you're know gonna fucking be ready mental mentally shit. already because you're in there. You, you're not allowed. To be sad, not mentally there and shit. If you're sad, you might you might get whacked for being. Hey, come here, homie. What the fuck, you crying? Man? Are you crying during day room movie right now? <laughs> right? Yeah, like, were you rolling those fruit roll us up right yeah. there? <laughs> those honey real. buns. <laughs> yeah, Tommy, I'm too gangster. I, I I can't get a fruit roll up because I'm not down to roll up. <laughs> oh, that's a good one, though. <laughs> What's up, Tommy? You ready Rolling for Covina, up. dog? Yeah, it's going down, Covina. When we... hey, and uh, Bakersfield. Hey, I can't have you on every show. 22nd and 23rd on Covina? Yeah. Is I'll, that do, cool? I'll do one each day. Because, hey, <laughs> there's some big names going to stop by. I'll go on with you. Fuck it. I don't give a fuck. Right? <laughs> no, I got you, Tommy. I got you, dog. All day. No, but yeah, you're it's going to be tight. It's going to be ready, one, eh? Dog. All right, 25. <laughs> I'll do the 30. <laughs> <laughs> of course. Hey, um, I want to give a shout out to my son, Andres. Had a dope ass birthday party, dog. Hey, for my son, Andres' birthday party, we all dressed up as clowns. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Like, uh, one of my nieces was a uh, Sepin. Yeah, yeah, Sepin. Uh, Sepin. Uh, my uh, my daughter was a uh, homie, the clown. Oh, yeah, yeah, I don't like, think so. Yeah, <laughs> uh, everybody were like, someone was a circus clown, someone was a killer clown. Uh, my son was a uh, art the clown, that crazy oh, fool. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I went as little mystery for Fools Gone Wild. That's little, nice. Yeah, like, hey, yeah. fool. It made me think, like, I want to do a theme for my birthday party. That'd dog. be sick. What's up? What's it gonna a Cholo be? one. Yeah. Pachuco? Pachuco? Straight up. That'd be bad, huh? You could come as a Santana when he gets stabbed and thrown down the screen. That'd be tight. Man. All right. Uh, 
Hey, brother. Um, is there any message you want to give out there, dog? Yeah. To people that like, like, hey, homie, like, wh- what people do you want? You want Tommies, huh? I just want, I just want to, I, I, want, I want to touch everybody. You okay. know what I'm saying? Not just one individual. I want to touch everybody. I just want to let everybody out there know that it could be done. Never stop believing in yourself. And you could conquer any dreams and goals you want to. Straight up. You know I'm saying like us, when we were growing up, we were, we, were, we were like already stuck into like a routine. You know what I'm saying? Like get a nine to five, get a warehouse job. Fuck that. We got to break that cycle. You know what I'm saying? We could all be millionaires. We could all have the nice things in life, the finer things yeah. in life. You know what I'm saying? So, That's the cycle your grandparent or your dad did for you to have this chance to break it up, right? Yeah, no, exactly. Like you know if the saying? ball's already been done, player. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? So that's why I always tell people, like on my Instagram, hey, believe in yourself, never give up. You know what I'm saying? Look, I mean, it don't matter how you start, it matters how you finish. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And you just got to break the cycle of, of your family history, man, and just believe in yourself and believe in your family and just You're keep, living it, keep proof. it going. Yeah, I'm living proof. You know what I'm saying? If I could do it, anybody could do it. I'm nobody special. I'm just the motherfucker that never gave up on himself. And always wanted better for himself. And if I could do it, you guys could do it too. Everybody out there that's listening, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Just believe in yourself. And once you believe in yourself, anything's possible. Straight up. You know? I needed to hear that, dog. <laughs> Tommy's Dude, right. I just went I'm on ready, his, eh? I just went on, the, I just went on his Instagram. He looked like Side Dick Eddie, I, dog. Yeah. <laughs> like, he's bigger than you. Show like, the camera, like, dog. Yeah. yeah, dog. Like, I mean, you hear it and you hear numbers. Nah, you look big. Yeah, you look like a Tommy monster. Look, dog. Yeah. I was a big motherfucker, you know? I'll tell you, dog. Tommy's Whoa. like, I'll take that money. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Tommy's like, I'll take the big one. <laughs> He's like, how much for that one? 80 a day? <laughs> you know, we're making it happen. Wait, wait, hey, right there, what were you eating? Oh, right there, I was eating. You didn't know about and, diet, right? I was just, I was just like, like Tommy said, I want to. I thought I was big. I thought I was doing the right thing, you know. Feeding, Seven meals a day, type I'm, of I'm, shit. I'm feeding the muscle yeah. right now. I'm feeding the muscle. I'll go fucking eat fucking tw- tw- like four by fours and shit like that. Like thirteen tacos, a Damn. two liter soda a day. Dang. A bag of Oreo cookies a day. That's what I would Time eat. Like, happy, yeah. I'd be like, I'll go work out. Like, <laughs> boom, boom, boom. Okay, oh, fuck, I didn't gain nothing. Let me do the same thing. Re- repeat it again. Let me have, th- go to the hat, go get fucking two chili cheese fries and fucking one chili cheeseburger and just pig out, you know? Be like, fuck yeah. I'm big right now. But I was doing everything wrong, you know? Yeah. I, just hurt. I was hurting myself, but I thought I was, I was fucking the biggest motherfucker out there. Like, fuck yeah. I got a homie like that. 24 inch arms. I was fucking, yeah. Like, like, you're a fucking tank, you know? But. And now you can lift more than that guy? Mm-mm. No, that guy can lift way more. Okay. Right now, I'm probably doing half the weight. Like, right okay. there, I was benching, like, it was 525 or something. Uh-huh. Right now, I'll do 305. Okay. But you're in no pain. Like, like your I'm back no don't pain. hurt, your mother, yeah. your joints I'll, I'll, don't I'll, hurt. Yeah. I'll, I'll run to the mountains in the back right now. Yeah, That's how good I feel. You know what I'm saying? Damn. Not literally, but I feel fucking good. I, yeah. I, 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 a lot of running? I bust a thousand burpees nonstop. A Damn. thousand. If, up and downs. Like, who, who, who could do that? I mean, especially our age, 42. Straight you know what I'm saying? I, I can put, tell I you're healthy because you shame. don't have ganas, dog. Yeah, I put my first to shame. Like, when, like I'll bust shit like quick. Boom! I stay, I stay ready, so I gotta get ready. You know what I'm saying? Spence on the tira. <laughs> you know, so I eat my cats. Like, what's up? Do you uh, <laughs> running or not? No running. Just like my my cardio is burpees. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm-hmm. even like for you, like if you jumped on the program, you would have to do no cardio because you'll get loose skin. You start, you burn calories. You're not burning fat. Lifting weights burns fat. You know what I'm saying? So then you have to do high repetitions. How do I do it to, to lose weight to, and not to, get all flabby off? That's what I'm saying. You can't do cardio. Oh, you you got to pay the money, dog. Yeah. You, want, you, you, want yeah. the, you want the fucking blueprint for free, dog? Come <laughs> on, on, Tommy. Uh, Tommy too tight. Yeah. Right now, everyone's mad at X. Why'd you jump in, X? Yeah, like, Shut up, X. I was going to get out saying, 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 Everybody's different. Text right now. Everybody's different. You know what I'm saying? You got to do high repetitions because your skin, like, like me, I have no stretch marks. I have no loose skin. But it was a trial and error when I was when I was dropping weight. Okay, fuck. Damn, my skin's like this. Wait a minute. Because all here. my fucking tattoos, they get all fucked up. They're oh, really shit, fucked my, up. My <laughs> <laughs> they started off fucked up. Huh? Yeah. They're really fading up. Hey, huh? show, show them the stomach, Not dog. Not get fucked Show them the hyena, dog. What happens if he loses weight? Hey, well, <laughs> she has a nipple. Hold on. Figure it out. She has a nipple on her head. <laughs> she, has, her hey, she has a beard, eh? <laughs> she has how hairy beard. she is. <laughs> Yeah. You got a better beard than both of them. <laughs> oh, <laughs> it's on, though. Man. She's going to be all sucked She'll up. She'll shrink, huh? eh? She'll be the little sister. Yeah. Yeah. She'll be fine. <laughs> She'll be fine, dog. Oh, She'll oh, be fine. Daddy. She can strip now at George's. <laughs> yeah, we're taking her to George's. Right. That's it. Uh-huh. Yeah, well, right, then, I'll work out. Uh, 
Triple OG, where can all my fans that don't follow you find you, get a start, or just follow? Look, everybody, you don't have to start today. Follow, look, follow. believe, see. But the intro is at least follow. Check yeah, it out. Just checking my content. Just checking out my content will make you believe, make you a believer, make you start changing your life without joining my program. Just watching my stories. That's what's up. You know, that that's what it's about. And then you can learn the shit I post. If you're smart, you pick up game. If you're not smart, you don't pick up game. Mm-hmm. But I dropped the whole blueprint on my stories and stuff. You know what I'm saying? So follow me at triple OG13 uh, thir- uh, on Instagram. And it's just I'll show you the way, you know, the right way. No hater shit over here. I, li- I uplift everybody, no matter who the fuck you are, you know? Straight up. No hater shit right here, man. That's what we have to believe in each other and lift each other up, you know? There's enough yeah. for everybody out there. That's what's up. Three plates. Uh, I should have started off with this, but uh, I apologize. I didn't make your sister's cruising on Saturday. Uh, no problem. And uh, you know why. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Party too hard on My lady was out of town. I fucking party hard on Friday. <laughs> didn't Couldn't even find girls. Just did cocaine with me and him looking at each other. Remember sixth grade? <laughs> John story. Yeah, you know, yeah. Yeah, my homie for sixth grade was like, come on, do cook with me. Yeah, and I was like, fuck it, all right, I'm down. My, my cats are all mad at me. And shit. <laughs> <They're> like, <"Rrr." laughs> so uh, where can we uh, donate to your sister? Oh, I, we, uh, I have a thing on, on my Instagram page, mm-hmm. the holding it down with three plates. Uh, you could go on there to see the page, and it gives you the link to donate on there. That's what's up. Yo. Make sure you guys check that out. Also, follow my homeboy, triple OG dot 113. Yep. Or just 13. Just 13. Yeah. To the, it's the routine. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> X to the G. What's up? Hit that like button. Uh, Covina Bakersfield. I'm excited for it. We get to see Tommy. I get to bring up Tommy, which is kind of cool. I love it. It's I got cool. I got I'm special not... surprises oh, coming in, fool. Like okay. Big names like right. me. I don't even know about them, so okay. Yeah, I don't because you'll tell everybody. I know, dude. I know. I know my other podcast. <laughs> I don't like, he'll, he'll, he'll give me a guess. It's like, fool, the show sold out. <laughs> Yo, check it out, though. Um, a lot of people are like, George, you used to hook up free tickets. I'm like, yeah, I used to hook up free tickets because... I was new starting off. I'm established now. My shows sell out. But, uh, yo, if you're a single mother out there, I'm going to hook you up. Any single moms you want to bring your primas out? If you're a single mom and you listen to this podcast, you have to leave me a message that says, I'm a single mom and I need a party. First one. Who does it? Yep. Gets five tickets. And you can't bring you can't bring your baby daddy. Nah. Nah. That's yeah, right. yeah. I mean, yeah, because you're a single mom. Because then he's gonna hit her up, and be like, "Hey, baby girl, George <laughs> well, is giving it's... away tickets if you say you're a single mom." And now he's at the show. Well, if that fool buys a record, it's cool. <laughs> <laughs> bring cash for the record too. Yes, bring cash. I'm gonna have vinyl available, guys, and uh, I'm coming out with the new. Uh, what do you guys want? A hooded sweater. A normal sweater or a windbreaker? Oh, shit. Those are all sick. I like the windbreaker. Windbreaker sick. Yeah, yeah, you know? Badass blue one. Fuck yeah, or black. Right? Spence on the tira. <laughs> Coming hot like a wee lot. Yeah. Yo, this is George Perez Stories, episode 351. Special thanks to our guest, Triple OG in the building. <laughs> Follow him on Instagram and uh, give us a like, give us a subscribe, and don't forget... March 16th, I'm at the well in Bakersfield. March 21st, no, March 22nd, March 23rd, I'm going to be at the Covino Lab Factory. April 1st, April Fools, I'm doing my own show at the Comedy Store Main Room. Holds about 400 people. It always sells out. Check it out. May 4th, I will be at the Michelada Fest in Santa Anita. And hopefully I jump into the gym with the homie and we make some movement. That being Let's said. Do it. Take a shower, brown power. Lay. Let's go. What's up, my boy?
From that city with juice, ain't no pity or truces. When we dip in gun smoke's conclusive. Don't act clueless, hella bullish in the 90s. And GP shotgun, when we ride. Solid on the yard, name hard on these streets. Did my crimes, gangster rhymes on dope beats. Still fuck laws, ain't no pause in our demeanor. Rest in peace, Muggsy and my road dog creeper. Ways to put it down, no fear of new cases. Years ago, though, it was guns and chases. 714 on my shoulders, kept it active. Roll like soldiers, G code ain't passive. Still Mac and Rack, still packed at the waist. Still stacking racks, still flash when they hate. Now it's podcasts and videos with pretty hoes. Me and George banging orange till the city's known. Really though. OG1. We keep it moving smooth like every day. In this industry, we do we on these streets for shop. Streets for shop. We make that green, don't you put your good? We make it moves all day, all day, all day, all day. Grew up in the streets of the LB. We don't love these hoes, what they tell me. Packed up and moved to the OC. Me and George ballin' like Shaq and Kobe. Fuck bitches get money, living wealthy. Bad bitches screaming, let me get a selfie. Big stop, she be some real G. Side dick is the general of an army. Egg she podcasting in the morning. Don't say F A, here's your warning. That other bullshit be boring. With some goofy ass question, that's corny. Tommy, let me finish my story. Shooting shots, game six, rubber ore. Smoking blunts in the bus while I'm touring. Now, welcome to George Perez Stories. OG Way. We keep it moving smooth like every day. Every day. They could not look that homie, we don't know. We don't know. It's going down for sure, for sure. Real G's in this industry. Sleep.